Alrighty, today we're going to be doing a quick review on the MuFly uh, 1296 body camera. Um, model number is uh, P126A. So I bought this as my first body cam um, for security. So comparable models um, are Cam Pro and Boblov. Um, they all cost around the same. Uh, this camera uh, comes in 16, 32, and 64, and 128 gig. Uh, same with the other two brands. Um, I just chose this one. Um, so this is the uh, MuFly uh, body camera. Uh, it comes with, of course, the instruction booklet, uh, which I found very uh, informative uh, when starting it up um, and kind of going through the functions. Uh, I'm gonna give you an abbreviated version uh, of it in this review. Um, so, it advertises as um, shockproof uh, or shock resistant, waterproof. Um, and honestly, <clears throat> I've been out in the pouring rain with it. It has functioned well. Um, I've dropped it at least three times uh, from shoulder height. Um, which would be about, I would say, uh, just under five feet. Um, so it, it is a very durable camera um, and comes with a variety of accessories. So here we have the USB cable, uh, which plugs into the charging dock and also serves as a transfer cable uh, to a computer to uh, send your videos, uh, pictures, or audio files to. Um, it does all three in different formats. Um, I'm going to show you in a little bit um, what it looks like uploading to the computer. Um, and again, this is my first body cam. Um, probably not going to be my last. Uh, I also have used it for um, hiking, uh, hunting, and uh, as well as security work. So this is a definitely a multi-use camera. And uh, bear with me here. I'm hooking up my laptop so I can show you those features in a couple minutes. me here so it comes with the transfer cable um, the charging dock uh, that's pretty self-explanatory um, that's where the cable plugs in here is the camera itself um, I don't normally leave the clip off of it but for the sake of this review this is how the camera comes in the box with no clip on it um, here we have the uh, epaulette clip an alligator clip uh, and the GoPro clip let's put this aside we'll go over each one individually bear with me again on the computer. So, like I said, this camera is multi use. Um, it's, uh, it is one of the more popular brands. Um, obviously, it's not uh, an Axion. Uh, Axion cameras are uh, way more expensive. Um, so this kind of fit in my budget as well. So, all right. So turning the camera on, 
uh, there is a power button right here. Um, Self-explanatory. Press until the camera turns on. Uh, this uh, light indicator up here, you hold it down, the front light comes on. Hold it down, front light goes off. Press once, and as you can see, it goes to infrared, black and white. Press it again, it goes to color. This is the manual setting for it. So, hold on. Alrighty. So, okay. All right, this is the uh, manual on off. Uh, in your menu settings, uh, you can change um, to automatic infrared. Uh, the only thing um, I found kind of annoying was uh, the automatic infrared will, as it states, automatically go to and from uh, that setting, and it makes this really annoying clicking sound that I can't seem to get rid of. So, here's your battery indicator. Uh, your mode is camera. So, you are on, it is on 720 resolution. Uh, See, I believe 30 megapixels on the camera and then AVC mode. Um, it also has a, uh, a dash cam uh, DV mode that I have not tried yet. Um, so you can use this as both a body cam and a dash camera. So we're going to switch this back to color. So here, as you can see, uh, you can have a badge number as well as your name or like for here, since we don't have badge numbers in security, I put the model number um, and my name. You can have the date time format. You can, you can have also a 24 hour clock format or a uh, the other clock format. Um, this no, this set of numbers indicates uh, how many hours, minutes, and seconds you have left of recording. I do have recordings on this camera uh, that I have not offloaded onto the computer, and I have not done so, uh, so I can use those as an example. Uh, it holds up to 28.8 .8 gigs of video. Um, and just to keep the screen timeout set, uh, I believe it two minutes so uh, when that times out you just press the power button and it'll bring it back on uh, right now I only have 24.7 gigs left of space so uh, the annoying thing about this when you change you can password protect it or you can uh, leave the password off I leave the password off because if I change settings I have to put it in every single time and it's as bad as an old school phone where you have to press a lot a couple keys uh a lot of different times to go through the full uh zero to nine numbers and the entire alphabet to change things so i just chose to keep the password off so we're going to go to menu uh, this is where you can change your resolution uh, to make any selection you press ok uh, it goes from 480 to 1512. Uh, anything above 1080 or 1296 uh, is a little bit excessive, uh, in my opinion. Um, I found it gets uh, decent enough resolution on 720. Um, so that's pretty much where I leave it. You press OK. Um, to go down, you press M. 
to go up, you press the playback button. So we're gonna go down. It goes from forty megapixel to five megapixel. Let's actually I prefer thirty megapixel uh, camera. Uh, burst, you can do a camera burst uh, when you go to that mode. Um, I tend to not do that. Recording cam extension, um, you can plug an extension into the USB port uh, for a smaller camera to clip to uh, the shoulder of a jacket or lapel. Um, I don't have one of those, so I'm not able to review that at this time. Dwarp off. Um, never had to use that either. Uh, self timer. Um, again, that's another, uh, picture thing I've never had to use. Uh, again, if you prefer a self timer, uh, you can turn it on and off. I prefer to keep mine off. Quality, normal, super fine, fine and normal. Uh, for what I do on security, normal is just fine. Um, no pun intended there. Pre-record off. Uh, that gives you a little bit of time on uh, pre-recording uh, before it does the official recording. Post-record off. Same thing, opposite end of the recording. Car DV mode. Uh, again, I haven't tried that yet, but this is also where you can turn it on and off. Uh, it does a loop recording. Um we're going to keep that off for right now. And then general loop recording, you can use it in body cam uh, form. Split time. Okay, split time uh, is very key on your videos. Um, split time, you can go from 45 minutes all the way down to one minute. So... Split time is the length of each individual video on here. So at the end of 15 minutes, it will automatically start a new video. There won't be any delay between the two. Uh, it'll literally start like to the second. So um, as an example of that, slideshow, infrared manual. I explained that earlier. Uh, you can set it to manual or automatic. Uh, motion detect, uh, that's a little bit excessive for your battery. Um, so record warning, uh, we'll have a little voice that says recording on, uh, and recording off. Um, not really necessary. Uh, GPS, you can set it to have a GPS tag. Um, so every time you upload the video to the computer um you can look at the gps tag on it to tell you exactly where you are down to the foot time zone pretty self-explanatory language also self-explanatory uh screen saver one minute okay so i have mine set to one minute to save battery uh you saw the screen turn off earlier so and I turned it back on. LCD brightness, medium. You can turn the brightness down. I'm actually going to turn mine. Keep it medium for right now. Auto power off. It will turn off after so much time. Power saving. It does have a power saving mode. I haven't had to use this uh, because um, on the 720 resolution mode, it will have up to 16 hours of recording time. Uh, let's see, LED light on. Um, that's for the front LED to turn on and off. So white LED. Ketone. Uh, ketone is just when you're pressing these keys, it'll make that little annoying beep sound. Volume. Uh, you can play back the videos on the camera itself uh this is your volume control 
Okay, we're gonna leave it at six. Coding format, H.264, you do not need to change this. You do not need to worry about that. Date and time setting. back to menu coding format date time ID setting that's where that is that's where you can change uh, both badge number and name or vice or switch those two password off change user password default setting resets everything to default so if you ever get rid of the camera uh, and that is also just device info. So we're gonna go back to the main screen. Now that you see this is the menu button, this is the playback button. So this is a little video I took. And to select between video, camera, and um, voice recording, you flip it to the side. You have a star, microphone, camera, and video. Pretty self-explanatory indicators. You press the star to select between camera, video camera, and voice recording. So we're gonna play back this. You press okay. As you can see, it's actually pretty decent. This is volume set to six. This is about half volume. So we're gonna press okay, pause it. Oh, sorry, I went too far back. Uh, you press the power button once, it goes back to this menu. Okay, now to delete that, press Hold down OK. Delete file will pop up. Delete file. Now, if you have multiple files, you can select delete all files. Uh, since there's only one, we're only going to delete this one. So delete this file. Go to the circle. Press OK again. There you go. Deleted that file. Now, I have a bunch of other files on here that I need to get rid of, but... You can also do that on the computer. So let's go to camera. Okay, this is at 30 megapixels. Pretty clear. This is my hand at five megapixels. It shows a little fuzziness. I don't know if you can see it on uh, this video. That's the difference between five and 30 megapixels. So we're gonna go back. Now we're gonna go to the voice recording. This was at standard distance from my mouth, probably about a foot away. Okay. Again, with volume only half, let's play that again. Audio only. So it's pretty clear. So we're gonna go, Audio okay. Only. Oh, we're gonna go back to the main menu. So now we're gonna do voice recording. Click. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Press it again. Stops recording. Picture. Pretty self-explanatory. Click. Saved it. There you go. Video. And there you are. That's the uh, general operation of this camera. So, now comes the next part of the 
of this review and tutorial uh, is the computer part of it. Alrighty. So let's get rid of that. Okay, now to connect the camera to the computer, uh, you don't need to have it on the charging dock. In fact, it will not work with the computer while it's on the charging dock. So you open this little flap right here on the left side of it. Uh, I do apologize for the inversion of the video. Um, so you pop that open and plug in the USB. So I don't have it plugged in. I don't have a plug available on that side, so we're going to have to go to this side. So the camera will automatically uh, upload uh, driver software to the computer. Uh, there's no need to uh, download. So we're going to get out of that. You go to um, you open up where you have your computer options, go to removable disc, uh, which is gonna be the camera. Let me grab that, okay. And I go to removable disc. DCIM, you can click on each of these files. Uh, I have files from today and then back in March. So we're gonna open this one. Uh, you can change the view, large icons. Okay. This is a video I popped up. Uh, this is a Windows 7 laptop, so uh, this camera does work with that, uh, works with, uh, of course, newer computers as well. Anything older than a Windows 7 probably wouldn't recommend. Let's see if we can... Okay, I apologize for the playback on the computer. Uh, this is the uh, infrared uh, footage uh, that I wanted to show you. Um, this was back on March 16th that I took this as a sample video. Uh, I believe the infrared was set on automatic at this point. So we're going to exit out of that. Again, playback on a newer, faster computer is going to be better. So the lag is due to this specific computer it's uh doesn't have a very good processor so and to delete the files from the camera uh you can select delete yes delete Back to DCIM, open that folder, there's nothing. Uh, or to delete the files altogether, make it easier, you can delete it by folder. 
So we're gonna go do that. This will usually also delete them on the camera as well as the computer. Um, I did have one time that it did not do that and I had to manually delete it from the camera. So I'm gonna disconnect this from the computer. Eject A9 platform, uh, that's what it shows up as. Safe to remove hardware, so you unplug, and it will also charge the camera at the same time you have it plugged into the computer as an alternative charging method. So, getting back to, apologies, getting back to camera accessories. So, charging dock, self-explanatory, it charges the camera. Line it up, plug it in. Uh, the camera does not come um, the camera does not come with its own, uh, charger plug, uh, so you do have to provide one, um, so, uh, lucky for me, I do have extras laying around, um, the clips, this is a GoPro clip, so this, this one, uh, you can attach it to the camera and, um, your GoPro, uh, case will attach here. Epaulet clip. This, uh, if you have a shoulder, shoulder strap on a uniform, um, you can use it that way and hang it off so that the camera is facing forward and this part is on your shoulder. You can attach it uh, to uh, an exterior bulletproof vest this way. Um, it does kind of wiggle a little bit more uh, when you use this for that function. Uh, or you can clip this to a jacket uh, lapel. Um, this is probably the most versatile clip just because of its range of motion. Um, alligator clip. Um, this is what I prefer to use to put the clip on. I recommend holding back the metal tab so it slides in easier. Uh, I have an exterior molly vest and the alligator clip seems to work best for me. Uh, it may not work best for everybody. Um, but all clips rotate 360 degrees. So I use this uh, to put on my vest. I'll turn it sideways to put on uh, my polo shirt uh, that I use for work or a button up shirt. Um, so yeah, that's uh, the basic stuff on this camera. Uh, I do hope this review uh, helped out. Um, if you have any uh, questions, comments, um, just let me know in the comment section on this video and, uh, let me know uh, what other reviews you'd like to have done.